More Jurassic World Chaos Theory toy packaging has been revealed along with a new grey juvenile T-Rex Mattel toy. How exciting. And I'm going to tell you how to get a T-Rex Chaos Theory head. All coming up in this video. Let's start off with the Ben Escape Pack because more images have been revealed of it. Now some people have gone a hold of it in my country and in other countries. But we've never really seen it out of packaging. So it's cool to see more images. We have the, you know, scan code images where the little tabs are pulled out. I don't know if the Dilophosaurus will be the same one as Dominion, because we do know Mosasaurus was actually just re-released under Epic Evolution packaging, but it's still the same as the Dominion scan code. So I wonder if this that's the same case for the Dilophosaurus. Might be different, who knows, but a Trostraptor Tiger, of course, different. You know, we've got pictures of Ben, them all together. It seems they reused a couple of images and just like put them, like they flipped the images basically. So. There is that, but I, I still think it's cool. Very exciting. But next up, Gwen Long versus Lystrosaurus. So I originally thought this would be like a Savannah deco kind of thing, just because, you know, Lystrosaurus was found in Malta, which was kind of that deserty area. But now it's been confirmed to be mountain, thanks to the box. And it does have Jurassic World Chaos 3 packaging. So this almost confirms that basically all the toys in this wave will be part of Chaos Theory, even though not all the dinosaurs are in Chaos Theory, like the only really new species in Chaos Theory include the Beckel Spyx, Suchomimus, and Pachyrinosaurus. And Majungasaurus, yes, obviously that is a named species uh, in the Mattel lineup. The thing is though, I don't think it's appearing until season two. So there is that. But yes, Gwen Long makes sense to be a mountain biome creature, but Lystrosaurus, I'm not entirely too sure about that one just because of how brown it is i was kind of more expecting a savannah paint for it but oh well it's in there whatever and something that actually is savannah is the gallimimus so i believe they've actually even changed up the paint scheme for this guy but yes it is in a jurassic World chaos theory box so cool to see and it's got an interesting red pattern on the head whether that means something you know you'll have to wait and find out for chaos theory but yeah it is super cool like, look at the stripes along his back. It does look different from the actual other images we have seen of it, like less saturated almost. Like, the head looks more purple in this image, whereas I do believe the older images had a more red head and the body was way more saturated orange. But then again, I don't know if it's just the quality of the photo because uh, these were ripped from the Jurassic Squad Facts app thanks to Gwen Long, actually. I know we just talked about the Gwen Long 2 pack. It was data mined out by Gwen Long, I believe, ripped out. So I'm excited to see more coming. You know, I'm excited for the human packs that haven't been revealed yet. Hopefully, we need a Sammy, right? But something that hasn't been shown in the Chaos Theory box yet is the Monolophosaurus. Not just anyone, but a new one, surprisingly. So this doesn't appear, no Monolophosaurus appears in Jurassic World Chaos Theory, but this one is like a feathered one. I would expect it to appear in a future season, honestly, as probably some bison variant. Just think of how the Parasolophus changed for Dominion. I would expect the same with this Monolophosaurus, and this is probably like a bison kind of paleo-accurate-ish Monolophosaurus. There's not really much they can do because the original Monolophosaurus was great, but the difference in this, and you can see it much better in the box art i think it looks way better in the box compared to all the other images we we're getting but it looks like fluff on the back of it like it looks like fur feathers so i think this is meant to be like the paleo accurate version of model of source with feathers at least in their universe because their in universe paleo accurate stuff is weird like giga hell no that's no giga but something else that has chaos theory packaging the strike attack like model of source is chasmosaurus so Take a good look at this thing. Its scan code is revealed, just like Monolophosaurus's was as well. So that's cool. But yes, we do have Chasmosaurus with its red kind of head and then the green body. I, I think it's cool. Now, obviously, do not expect this one to be appearing in Chaos Theory at all because, like, we already got Pachyrinosaurus. How many Ceratopsians do we need? In the franchise you know it could appear in future seasons you know how many are we gonna get i i would assume enough to lead up to the next jurassic world movie jurassic world 4 i assume there could be even four seasons maybe maybe if they want to go after the movie five seasons just like camp Cretaceous. but hey ho we never know so the biomes actually kind of confirm like what's going to be what so gwen long listro that's you know mountains Gallimimus is Savannah. I assume most of the rest will be jungle 
unless Rarisuchus is uh, the river, I do believe. But yes, here, this is probably the most important, or at least the coolest thing on the list. It's the newest thing. You guys haven't seen it before. Maybe you have. It was revealed today. You have seen it in other posts, but it's the first time talking about it on this channel. Tyrannosaurus Rex, off-road tracker pack. This very obviously based off the juvenile T-Rex from the Kenner line. Not part of really any Jurassic franchise official thing, but it is from the Kenner line. And that juvenile T-Rex, I do believe, was based off the original Jurassic Park novel because there was an adult T-Rex in there and there was a juvenile T-Rex in there. So it's cool to see Mattel's finally making it. And I'm glad it's not just, you know, another brown color, another green color, even red. I would, I would easily skip this if it was red because I've already got the red Rex from Mattel. So pretty happy gray young T-Rex. You could even pretend it's big E.T. Might be a bit too small for that. But yes, let's move on. So the Roblox event happened the other day and I wanted to share some behind the scenes of the Chaos Theory thing that happened because obviously I joined Swerve's game, but there were a lot of stuff I kind of left out at the start. A lot of people, they were like, no way, can I be in the video? And I kind of forgot to add that in just because the episode wasn't playing. But I did join Swerve and you're probably wondering, how did you get into Swerve's lobby? Well, the thing was, I added him a few years back, just like out of, I don't even know how I got a hold of it, but I did. And I didn't, uh, I, it didn't click that he would be playing, but I knew a lot of people were playing the next World Roblox event. So I was just like, let's scroll through some friends, you know, make it interesting, make an interesting video, you know, see who's on. I'm like, Swerve's on. I know he'll be recording it. So it was like, just perfect, like opportunity, you know, my, my YouTube brain clicked in and I was like, yeah, this could be a fun video opportunity just to get in his lobby and play around. And, you know, I did get a shout out from that. That's Pro C right there, the one and only. <laughs> one and only Pro C. And then other people were saying subscribe to Pro C. It was super awesome. But yes, there was a T-Rex head. You could claim a Chaos Theory one. And if you look at my avatar, it's so cool. I'm riding a Raptor. I've got like a Diplodocus Brachiosaurus on my shoulder and a, a accurate Spinosaurus on my head whilst I have a T-Rex head. Uh, obviously, you have to pay for all the rest of the stuff. That's what I did. You know, I love, I used to love customizing my Roblox avatar. But the T-Rex said, you have to do an event on Roblox. It would kind of allow you access to the Chaos Theory Theater screening. And to do this, you had to find raptors along the map. And then you would have to go watch Chaos Theory for at least five minutes. Then what you would do, you would back out of it or watch the whole thing. I watched the whole thing. But yes, you back out of it. You go back, talk to Ben and Darius. You keep talking to them a couple of times and you should hopefully get the T-Rex head for free. And a raptor follows you around until a certain date. But yeah, I got a couple of pictures. Make sure to check out the playlist with Chaos Theory stuff and I'll see you all later. Bye everyone.